as men of old have sung. It came a flowered bright amid the cold of spent was the night Isaiah twas foretold it the rose in mind with Mary we behold it the virgin mother kind to show God's love alright she bore to men a spent was the night. This flower whose fragrance tender with sweetness fills the air dispels with glorious splendor darkness everywhere true man yet very God from sin and death he saves us and lightens every Hello, beloved. This is Christmas time, 2020, and we wanted to share a message that we normally share on what's called the longest night. You know, in the midst of our holidays, we can't help but be reminded of our hardships at times. For those of you who are separated from loved ones, from those of you who have experienced great loss or suffering, uh, a void in your heart, your soul, your life. This year may be particularly hard, as other holidays are. So we wanted to share a message of hope and grace and peace on this longest night. Whenever your longest night comes, we want to encourage you and offer this message that hopefully will communicate our love for you, God's steadfast love for you, and the fact that we care, and that we are with you and God is with you. Holidays, as I said, can be hard. A great part of holidays is remembrance. And so not of all, all of our remembrances, all of our memories are happy, not of all, all of our circumstances are joyful and something that where we easily rejoice and celebrate. So we face long nights. We face sometimes the longest night. But there is good news. I always remember a story that Bishop Joe Pennell tells early on before he was elected bishop of being the pastor of a rural church in West Tennessee while he was in seminary. On Christmas Eve, unfortunately, one of his parishioners wound up getting arrested and was thrown in jail on Christmas Eve. 
He had a family. He had lost his job. And out of desperation, he went and robbed a local convenience store and cafe. Well, things went badly, as you can imagine. He was caught. He was arrested. As I said, he was taken to jail. So Reverend Pennell at that time, Joe Pennell, received a phone call to go see this young man in jail on Christmas Eve. So Joe went down to the local county jail and pastor and parishioner were very familiar with each other. So when he walked into the jail cell area, Joe, as was his practice, greeted the inmate, his church member, with a familiar greeting. Grace and peace to you. And the young man had been in church enough and with Dr. Pennell enough to know how to respond. And also with you. It's what we say in our communion liturgy. Some people use it as even a daily greeting. Grace and peace to you and also with you. So can you imagine what a long night that was for that desperate young man, his wife, his children, and even for his pastor on Christmas Eve? Life happens at inconvenient times. Life happens when we're making other plans. Life happens when we face moments of desperation. Life happens when we long for joy and celebration and we find it being absent. Life happens in ways we just don't anticipate. Yet the greeting of the pastor for his parishioner all those years ago that comes from our communion service and beyond that reminds us that God is with us in any circumstance, even in the longest night, even in all the circumstances where life happens, and it's challenging to cope. That's what Advent and Christmas are all about. They're about the incarnation. Incarnation means God coming in human form, God coming near in the flesh. God takes on our human flesh and lives in the depth of our life in our every circumstance through Jesus. Jesus is the incarnate God. So God comes to us in the flesh, fully human, fully God, with grace and peace. So this greeting of the pastor to his parishioner in our communion service reminds us of that. God is with us. A lot of times I find myself saying these days and over the last several years, life is too complicated. And it is. We never know what we're going to have to face. Life is too complicated. Well, that's certainly true this year in the year 2020. And as we move into 2021, life always unfolds for us as loss in many ways. Yet sometimes losses mount. Sometimes historic circumstances like a pandemic disrupt our lives and we find it difficult to cope with. For all of us, as life unfolds, life as loss, we find it heart-wrenching, a heart-wrenching reality. The reality of losing those who are most dear to us, losing life as we have known it. And it can make not just for one longest night, but many for maybe many in our daily living. So that's what, why we wanted to share this longest night with you in the midst of Christmas. 
This traditionally is a season of light. This year, we won't even be able to gather normally. We won't be able to sing Silent Night and light those candles, but we can still picture it in our minds. So in this season of light, darkness may make your longest night darker, even the longest you've ever known. Yet in the heart of darkness, in our most vulnerable moments, grace comes. God comes. He comes as the babe of Bethlehem. And as I'd like to have said, as I'd like to say through this Advent time, God comes to be born again in the cradle of our hearts and minds. So God's grace comes as God's continual loving action in our life. Wait for it, watch for it. It will come at some moment, maybe even in your longest, darkest night. Someone will speak light or love or care or encouragement or peace into your hurt and you will feel the presence of God. So that's what the season of Advent is all about, waiting and watching and anticipating how God will come with light and hope and encouragement. That's actually what Mary and Joseph had to do long ago. Their story of Christ's birth is a story of hardship. Mary was a child having a child. She was far from the familiarity of her home. Her life had been disrupted. She delivered a child of promise, even the Messiah, in the darkest, longest night of her life. But yet, in that Christ event, in that Christ emergence into the world of the Christ child, Mary, as she experienced her longest night, came to know that God comes, ironically, paradoxically, in those longest, hardest moments to cope with, God comes with grace and peace. So that's the message of the heart we want to share with you on whatever longest night you face. Grace and peace to you. And as we share that, maybe you could share that, meet, that greeting with someone else. Grace and peace to you, the gift of Advent and Christmas and beyond and also with you. When spoken to someone or heard by anyone, we know God is near. We know God cares. We know God sends a voice and presence of comfort. We know that God stretches divine hands and arms outward for an embrace of grace. We can send an encouraging note or, or card. We can offer a holiday devotional. We can look at a beautiful sunrise or sunset, maybe even a sunrise after a sleepless night, or see a moonlit night or a brilliant star, and be reminded that even in the longest night, we are not alone. God comes and God is with us. So life happens. Life happens in inconvenient times. Life happens when we're making other plans. Life happens when we face moments even of desperation where we struggle to cope. Life happens when we long for joy and celebration. Life happens in ways we don't anticipate, and it makes for long nights. But just remember Mary, remember Joseph in Bethlehem. It was their longest night too, and God came, full of grace and peace. So may grace and peace be with you. Can you share that with someone? 
out of your longest heart, share that good news. Grace and peace comes. Grace and peace be with you. And you will surely hear, and also with you, because this is a shared journey. And so may we pray. O oh God who comes in this season of Advent, help us watch and wait in our longings, in our struggle to cope at times. Help us to lean forward in expectation that you come, that you will surprise us, that you are with us. Just as you came in the babe of Bethlehem, be born in the cradle of our hearts and lives once again, full of grace and truth, grace and peace. God, come and be with us. Blanket us in your presence. Help us cope. Help us find that unique joy that you alone can give and the peace that passes all understanding. Grace and peace, may it be with all of us especially this Christmas season. Amen. We love you. We pray for all of you. And whenever your longest night is, however life unfolds in disrupting ways, have faith, hope, and love. And may God embrace you in a blanket of grace and peace. God bless you. Happy and Merry Christmas. Grace and peace to you. Bless you.